Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the basics of how to read an inequality. Remember, an inequality is a comparison between two values, numbers or expressions, that are not equal. But there is a possibility of the values being equal depending on which inequality symbol is being used. You'll see exactly what I mean as we go through our examples. So a major part of knowing how to read an inequality is knowing the symbols. So the five symbols we use to represent inequalities are not equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, so that was the possibility of being equal that I was talking about, and then finally, less than or equal to. So let's go through six examples here and read these inequalities from left to right in order to get a better handle on reading these symbols and just reading inequalities in general. So number one, we start from left to right. So we will start with the four, read our symbol, and then read the right side. So four is greater than B, and that's how you would read that inequality. Again, four is greater than B. Now remember, you always want the wider side of the symbol facing the larger value, so the side that is open. I like to think of it as the wider open side as a mouth, and you want to eat the larger meal, AKA the larger side and value. So another little tip, as you go through inequalities. Now number two, we'll start with the M. M is less than five. So again, M is less than five. Number three, we have W is less than or equal to. So when you have that little line under the symbol, that means or equal to. So W is less than or equal to nine. So again, we're just reading from left to right. Number four, we have three is less than X. Three is less than X. Number five, C is greater than or equal to 28. C is greater than or equal to 28. And then lastly, we have 37 is less than or equal to y. So those are the basics of how you read an inequality. Go from left to right and just read your symbol and you will have it down. Now I do go into more detail as far as what some of these symbols mean and how we find correct solutions in more videos, which I drop the links to those inequality videos down in the description. This was just about reading an inequality or saying it correctly. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.